Here we are again, folks. The new whip. If you guys saw my last video, um, our last ride at Kroom, you saw a sneak peek of this bike right at the ta tail end of it. Sorry about the wind. It's an overcast kind of day here in Florida. But this is uh, this is the bike I picked up as a replacement. This is a 2006 CRF 450R, um, kind of the Honda version of the Kawasaki that uh, I was riding there with my buddies. Um, I was able to pick this bike up in the morning of the one day uh, that weekend, the weekend after, and uh, sold my Yamaha the, later on that day. So made a quick swap. Um, it's a, a little bit of a fixer. It needs a little bit of a love uh, in some spots. I've been spending this past week kind of going through it, taking some pieces off of it, and uh, making a parts list for what I know I need to do. Um, just to give you an idea of a couple of the things, as you saw, I walked around. It's obviously missing one big part, and that's the the muffler. I got into it. It's a Dubok Racing muffler that uh, I thought I could just repair a little bit, but it turns out the the joint that goes from the mid pipe to the actual silencer canister is cracked almost all the way around. I mean, it's hanging on by like a loose tooth. It's it's bad. Um, so I was looking at repairing it, but ended up just, uh, I found a great deal on a new muffler. So I went that way. I'm gonna get that, see if I can mate it up, because this is a, a Dubok Racing uh, header. So I wanna see if those match up, and I'll, I'll deal with that when the parts come in. Um, it's got the sand tire knobby on the back. Tires are okay. I mean, they'll last for quite a bit longer. Uh, brakes are good, chain's good. Um, I already took all the numbers off and the graphics that he had, so there's still a bunch of gummy goop. And that's okay because I'll probably be replacing some of these plastics anyway. Um, suspension, I gotta check on because the, I know at least the front forks need rebuilt. Uh, they're leaking pretty bad. The fork, just fork seals, uh, just basic stuff. What else? I also, I already went ahead and mounted my uh, bar risers. Um, I took this set of bars that were on it. Uh, he must have crashed it because the crossbar was pretty well bent. So I cannibalized an old set of bars, uh, rental bars, and put a new crossbar on it. Uh, put my risers on it. Was looking at the throttle cable routing. Uh, ripped the grips off, so ready for new grips, as I prefer. Uh, what else? It's got a bunch of little things, like the, the shifter you know, lever there is a little wompy, so I'll either try and fix that or just replace it. Those are pretty cheap parts. Same with the brake lever on the other side, it's kind of bent. So it's a lot of little stuff. Um, I just today had the tank and everything off, and I took the valve cover off and was uh, checking the shims on the, the valves, and they're definitely going to need adjusted. So I'm either going to go down that road with some help from some friends, or uh, just take it to a shop and have them do a, a proper valve adjustment. But uh, Otherwise, I mean, the bike ran. He, he started it up for me and I could hear it run. It sounded crisp. It didn't sound rattly or knocky or anything like that. Um, so I'm pretty confident, but I might, I, once I get the valves adjusted, then I'll know more for sure. But uh, gonna do gonna do some things. I already have a bunch of parts ordered. Um, once those come in, probably through this week, you know, as parts come in, I'll start replacing things on it. But, uh, you know, I wanted to do this video here and give you a look at what we got new. Uh, because probably by the next time you see this bike in a video, it's not going to look like this. It'll look different, um, and hopefully by then you'll hear it running. So, um, I was going to just slip the pipe back on and just deal with it, um, fired up for a, a startup video, but decided not to. Uh, like I said, it's a little overcast today, and I've had the bike apart and back together a couple times even today, so... Just figured I'd do a short little video for you guys, show you the new bike. Um, like I said, I'm looking forward. Hopefully by the end of the month, I'll have this thing running and back together the way I like it. Um, all the little gadgets and gizmos cleaned up and be able to get out. Probably got to Kroom uh, just to do a, a little time out there just to test the bike, be able to go test it, come back in and tweak the suspension and go out and test and come back in and those kind of things. So we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, thanks for watching as always if you like this uh, click that thumbs up button and uh, make sure you subscribe down There somewhere over here somewhere um, So that you guys get updated with the latest videos. So thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for this guy running and thumping cheers